In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. The church today prepared for us to celebrate for the second day the Feast of the Holy Epiphany. And as we all celebrated yesterday, that our Lord Jesus Christ, although he is not in need for the baptism of the repentance, but he did this for us. Instead of us, he went through all that, not only, but also, as he mentioned to St. John, to fulfill all the righteousness. Also, what happened yesterday on the Holy Feast of the Epiphany, our Lord Jesus Christ got revealed to Israel as a son of God. Because everybody knows him as a normal man, as a carpenter, son of Joseph. Also, we all got introduced to the Holy Trinity when we heard the Holy Father witnessing from heavens and the Holy Son standing in the waters and the Holy Spirit as a dove remained on him. Also our Lord established the sacrament of the baptism on that day to end the baptism of repentance and to start baptizing with the Holy Spirit. And also the heaven got opened. So today the church prepared for us the passage from the book of St. John, chapter 1, and it also refers to the beginning of the disciples being called to be disciples. So we will find too many characters and we will find different attitudes and different behaviors. The first character that we met with today was John the Baptist who point to his disciples to show them our Lord Jesus Christ the Lamb who takes the sin of the world on him and also he witnessed he bore witness and said I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God We find some other characters. We're going to find St. John the Beloved, St. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, Simon Peter himself, Philip, and Nathaniel. But before we talk about those characters, St. Peter, in the epistle that we read today in the Catholic epistle, he is giving us a tip to be ready. To be ready for a question our Lord Jesus Christ, when John the Beloved and Andrew followed him, he asked them, what do you seek? And our Lord Jesus Christ is asking every and each one of us, what do you seek? What do you want from me? Why you are following me? And St. John, as he, with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, recorded 
in this chapter that all what they ask him, where are you staying? We just need to be with you. We just need to learn from you by your life, not through any lectures or talks, but we need to see how you live your life. And as he also wrote, he said that they stayed with him till the 10th hour. And because of this one day that they spent with our Lord Jesus Christ, they couldn't hold themselves but to invite their brothers and their friends. So we find that Andrew went and invited Simon Peter and he told him that we find Messiah. And our Lord Jesus Christ, when he met with Simon Peter, he started talking to him in a very intimate way. He told him, you are Simon, the son of Jonah, and you shall be called Cephas, Peter, which translated a stone. And then in, they met Philip, and all what our Lord Jesus Christ told to Philip, he told him, follow me. So if we remembered what St. Peter told us in his epistle, to be ready. To be ready when we meet our Lord Jesus Christ. To be ready to answer him when, we, when, we, when he asks us, what do you seek? And to be ready when he invites us to follow him, just to follow. And here we're gonna meet, we're gonna meet with Nathaniel, which he didn't behave in the beginning. And even when he heard about, when, he, when they invited him to come and see, he said his famous, Quote, can anything good come out of Nazareth? So Philip just used a very nice technique with him and told him, you know what? Come and see. Come and see yourself. And when our Lord Jesus Christ met him, even before meeting him while he is coming, he said, behold, an Israelite indeed in whom is no deceit, but he is still not, still not behaving good. And Nathaniel said to him, how do, you, how do you know me? So Jesus answered him, before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. So our Lord Jesus Christ revealed a secret nobody but Nathaniel himself that knows his secret. That's why he told him that you are the son of the, of the Lord. So in the beginning of the mission of the disciples and in the beginning of our Lord Jesus Christ's mission, we learn to be, we need to learn to be always ready because the invitation is always there. And we shouldn't, we shouldn't ever like act like we are so busy or so not ready for this glorious and holy call from our Lord Jesus Christ. And when he asks us, what do you seek? So do we seek him? Or we seek anything out of him? Sometimes I feel that I'm, 
I'm dealing with God like a vending machine. I'm putting some codes, the kids, the study, the business, whatever. But do I seek him himself? Pray for me, and I'll pray for you, for all of us to seek our Lord Jesus Christ himself, who incarnate and came to our earth just to save us. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.